people want to know what a song means or what it's all about or what inspired it, they go to Google or they go to genius.com or they go to the comments of the YouTube video or they go to songfacts.com. When I want to know what a song means, I call the dad of the guy who wrote it. <laughs> That's right. It's Christmas Saves the Year by 21 Pilots, a song that Tyler says he swore he would never write. Never write a 21 Pilots Christmas song, and yet here he did it. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the motivation behind that, explain why somebody who said he would never do it and actually kind of got mad at Christmas for a while, why he would all of a sudden change his mind and out of the blue, write a Christmas song for a an alt pop rock band that like that Christmas seems like the farthest thing from the brand of this band. We're gonna review some lyrics and then we're gonna get into the meat of this and talk to Chris Joseph, who happens to be Tyler's dad. You've all watched the song or listened to it, so just as a quick review of what's in there, verse one, snow falls down from the gray sky. Classic Christmas imagery. Ashes fall in the sea. And that is a reference, I think, to kind of just 2020 and how things have been going down and it hasn't been great, right? The title makes it very obvious, right? That Christmas saves the year. 2020 is a, is a bad year. A lot of bad things happened. And uh, what, a better, what better way to end it than with a little bit of holiday cheer? Whether you celebrate Christmas or another song, Tyler celebrates Christmas, thus the reason the song is about Christmas, apparently. Plans are thrown to the wayside, frozen days of the week, maybe a reference to quarantine and not being able to go out and have plans like you would have. Uh, but everybody wants to make it home this year, even if the world is crumbling down. And yeah, even though a lot of us, you know, are, you know, there's the CDC guidelines and, and state guidelines and all sorts of things that are suggesting that it would be a bad idea to travel, we still want to be there. But this means that maybe for a lot of people, this is gonna be a lonelier Christmas than it should be. Cause everybody's got somebody who's got their name on a shelf with cheap decor and flavored cheer. You rest assured that Christmas saves the year. It doesn't matter how cheap or chintzy your decorations are. It's about what Christmas and what the holidays represent. And then we hop into verse two. Dust off old photo boxes. This one's marked 92. Years past seemed so much grander, this one needs to come through. And I, I asked Tyler's dad, there wasn't anything particularly significant that he could think of that related to 1992. Uh, but it's it's interesting, he talks about Christmas's past seemed so much grander, and maybe that's because when we were kids, it was so big and so exciting. Like, if say you get a toy or a present or a gift right now, it, as an adult, maybe it doesn't seem like as big of a deal as the new Lego set or the new PlayStation 1 was for you when you got that for Christmas as a kid or just the, the holiday season in general and how exciting it was. Like, I feel like as adults, we get a little bit more jaded sometimes and we don't have quite that, that innocent, super ex easily excited attitude towards things. Of course, I know some people who are more excited about Christmas now than they were before. And that is basically the song. It's saying, hey, it's been a rough year, but Christmas is at the end and let's focus on the good of Christmas and the, the longing for family that it brings and the fact that we love our family in that way that we want to be with them. And I think there's also a little note of this desperation, this request. It says uh, in verse two, this one needs to come through. And the song was released before Christmas. Tyler wrote it before Christmas. So we don't actually know if Christmas does come through yet. It's this giant question mark. Will Christmas actually come through? And I would guess that probably the answer from Tyler's perspective is that Christmas will come through if we let it come through. And now let's hear from Chris Joseph. It's a simple song, so don't expect anything too revolutionary, but there are a couple of interesting points that he makes that I want you to listen for. He talks about what inspired this song for Tyler, who, if you watch the Twitch live stream, uh, he talks about how when he was a kid, he loved Christmas. And then a little bit later, he started to get annoyed with and angry with Christmas. But now things have changed for him. But it's a really good interview. So Chris and myself, take it away. So Chris, what'd you think of the new Tony on Violet song? Christmas saves uh, the year. Is there a new song? <laughs> there actually I is. Didn't, I didn't know that. Christmas saves the year. I thought, I really like it. And, oh, really? Uh, I get to hear it. And did, I don't know if you heard it on the stream. I did. His, uh, his, his Fortnite stream is when he introduced it. Is that when you had to wait to hear it? No, I heard it before that. I, I heard it when I was recording it, and singing it. Oh yeah, and, you're, you're and, on the vocals. And when he was moving his mouth, 
to it and claiming that he wrote the song, you know. No, I, I did hear it before that. It was, it was really good. I like it. Do you do you often get previews of songs before they get released? I uh, uh, there are times I do. Yeah. I think he does that to humor his parents. Hey, what do you think of this? Think of. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does do previewing. It's it. All right, so let's talk about the actual song. Um, obviously, like a Christmas song from Twenty One Pilots is uh, not something that I expected at all. Like it just feels uh -huh. so off-brand. It's it's almost on-brand for what we expect yeah. from the band. Yeah. Was the song inspired by any particular traditions, or or do you recognize anything from you know home life in the lyrics? The idea of uh, uh, the inspiration behind it, I think it was spontaneous. And, you know, I would assume, and probably is accurate, you know, he has a child now. And Christmas, Tyler always liked Christmas. Um, but now having a child, it's a completely different thing. So this is his, what, first Christmas with a baby, a child. And that's Christmas, as you know. I think that's what really gets fun. Except for back when you were a little kid, you know. And then you get older and Christmas takes on a different thing. And then when you have a kid, it's like, it's fun again. And I, I was pretty committed to buying toys. I couldn't wait for my kids, especially my boys, to get older so I could buy them toys that I would want to play with again. Hmm. And it was fun. You know, it's like, hey, this would be fun, but get out of my way. Let, let daddy play with this a little bit, make sure it works right. So yeah, I feel like you missed an opportunity a second ago because, you know, we know that, that Tyler's mom uh, inspired Level of Concern this year. And this is the only other 21 Pilots song that came out this year. And mm -hmm. uh, you just admitted that this was spontaneously inspired. But well, I feel by like... me. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I think it was inspired because of... He has a child. He was... Yeah. Kind of getting, you know, sappy with this, oh, thinking, no. you know, this is Christmas, and, and it was a tough year for everybody. And he's yeah. thinking, you know, you know, Christmas saves the the year. You know, it's the end of the year type of thing. It sounds it's obvious that part because it's something to look forward to, and it's a good time, and those who brings get together a family do and that kind of thing. It brings an end to, to all of the catastrophes and stresses of the year is kind of the idea, it sounds like. Yeah, and there were a lot of stresses. And, you know, there still are. And discouragement, distresses, and good things happening. But, you know, uh, just, it was just a tough year for everyone, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, it came that way. You know, one of the lines that came up in discussion was uh, the cheap decorations. I was going to ask about that. Yeah, and because not all decorations are cheap, and some people spend a lot of money on their decorations. But I think Tyler was envisioning a like an apartment, just a single guy or girl in an apartment building, and just throwing up some decorations. Just it, those, those even had meaning. Thank you, Chris, so much for being on. I think that my biggest takeaway from this, other than the fact that Chris has a very well-developed sense of dad humor, uh, is that the inspiration for this was Tyler's Child Rosie. Now, I can't speak to exactly how inspiring a child would be, but I have two dogs, and I actually did write a song about Strudel, and uh, I felt pretty good about that. In any case, you know, we're really grateful for the song. It's an awesome, it's, it's exactly what a 21 Pilots Christmas song should sound like. Uh, but there's one more thing I need to tell you about, and that's that Chris Joseph didn't just come on to talk about something Tyler created, Chris Joseph also created something himself that I want to talk to you about. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to let him talk about it. So back to Chris. So speaking of Christmas, you've actually got a great Christmas gift coming that just came out. Yes. There's my name on there. Um, this this was written with the, it's a 365 day uh, devotional, I guess you'd say, but just build your faith. And it's kind of a little different twist to it. it 
it, it was written with the intent of if someone sits down and reads a devotional, it's just a quick thought about faith. And there could be a funny story in there, or it could be a, it could be humorous or just thought provoking. But the stories are really quick. When I read a devotional, I, I don't. I, it's hard for me to read like a two-page devotional. These are like a paragraph and a half or something, maybe, where you're reading and you have the verse at the top. The, the little illustration of it, and a lot of those are true stories, and then a uh, suggested prayer at the end. Just built to be thinking along those lines. Sometimes we forget about thinking uh, with faith. The one I like is the one I wrote, I think it's the first one even, the illustration of Superman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the old black and white version, back in the day where Superman wore leotards. He's a bigger guy, but he wasn't jacked like having a cartoon book. But the idea, when I was a little kid, I do remember watching Superman glued to the TV set. And when it was over, picture this little, you know, seven-year-old kid wrapping a towel around my neck and flying around the house, rescuing people and beating up, you know, the enemy. And it's interesting that I think back, you know, Superman you just take off the clerk can't close. They take off the glasses and all of a sudden you have leotards on with an S <laughs> on your chest and you're really strong. So, and I illustrated that as, you know, we're just walking around with our Clark Kent attire on. When we take that off, it's almost like asking God for strength. We can live with God's strength, we just ask him, hey, help me to do this. I can't do this, but God, you can through me. And the idea of, you know, just to get you think that he can make me stronger. Mm. Maybe not physically, but through a lot of situations. And there's a verse that goes to that, and it's like, hey, that's a good illustration. It makes me think that about that. And, and just thinking is the whole point. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out the book that Chris co-authored. It is called Just Thinking. The link is in the description. And, and not only is it a good book for yourself, but it's also a great gift for the Christmas season. If you adhere to the Christian faith or know somebody who does, who would benefit from a new devotional book in the new year that, that really focuses on thinking, then I think that this book would be a really good fit. Also, Chris said that if 100 of you bought one, he would sneak me into all of the 21 Pilots concerts. No, he didn't say that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you next time.